This is the assembly video for I-11. An I-11 is a relatively easy block. There's four segments, and then you've got four diamonds that applicate on. So what I've got here is my assembly is going to be attaching these segments together. So I'm going to baste this first and then these two so that my tags go into the block so that they don't conflict with the other ones. I'm going to assemble each one of these squares first. Now my fabric is directional. So what I've done is, and it's a stripe, so what I've done is I've marked it so that when I assemble it, I've got the stripes going this way here and here and then this way here and here. Reasoning is behind that is because if I had the stripes going the same way on neighboring blocks, because I'm just really picky, it's going to bother me that they're not going to line up exactly on every stripe. So in order to completely eliminate that factor, I'm just going to turn it 90 degrees on each opposing corner. That way, everything that touches doesn't have to line up. I have lined up the edges of this with the stripe so that it can be straight as perpendicular as possible. But other than that, I don't have to worry about aligning the fabric itself. So I'm going to base my little triangles, connect them with this. I'm going to base this side after I base these two. And I usually will based opposing squares. So I'm going to do opposing sides and then opposing sides and I'll do this one last so that my tags go away so they won't interfere with the tags here. So let's get to the basting. So for basting, what I did for this block is I did the top and bottom sides first, then the sides, and then this angled edge. I did the opposite here so that my flaps aren't going to be together. So I did the sides first and then I did top and bottom and then I did the flap last. I'll do the little angled edge last in each case. For the triangles, I did this side first and then this side which gives you the tags that go in. And the reason that's important is because that way you don't have it interfering with the rest of the triangles. So I will put the, the little triangles onto their angled pieces to make a square. And then I'll assemble the squares. For the diamonds, I just basted opposing sides and then opposing sides. And so I'm going to have these two little tags that I'll be able to tuck under when I do my applique. But I'm just going to set these aside for now and assemble these blocks. So now I've stitched my little triangles onto my blocks. So I have four squares. I have a couple decisions I can make. The next obvious step is to connect two squares to each other and then make one big block. But I have to take into account that I have applique. So I could do one of two things. I could put these on each square, applique them down, then connect them, or I could connect them and then applique them down. And it's not going to matter too much from the end result. The only thing I will do is I'm going to put these together first before I applique. And the reason is, is that when I applique, I have a tendency to really mangle up my pieces and I'm sure it would be fine either way, but because I know this about my own technique, I'm going to put these together first so that I know and I'm assured that these edges are straight when I connect them so that I can make sure that this is as square as possible. And then I'll be able to go and place these and then put them on. The other reason is that if you notice the pattern here, these points are across from each other and if you don't place them precisely on each square deliberately there's no way to know how they'll line up once they're assembled but if you have problems with dealing with a large piece and applicating that then you may want to applique them first but it's up to you but I'm going to put my square together first then I'm going to applique my pieces after I place them
I got my squares put together in pairs. <coughs> and I have stripes going one way and then the other. And then on the row above it, it's exactly opposite. So let me get that put together and I'll have my square ready to put my applique blocks on. So my base block is done. I've got opposing stripes and I made sure that my point on my triangle in the middle matched up. Now the next step is to put the diamonds on here. So I'm going to get some kind of a marking. I think I'm going to get a white mechanical pencil and draw a line here because I've got to put my points of my diamonds on the line that's on the diagonal of each of these corners. All right, so I have gone through and I've put a very faint white pencil mark on my squares. So I just took a ruler and drew a line. I didn't draw it all the way to the corner because I'm going to get rid of it anyway. So I'm going to take my diamonds and I'm going to line them up on that pencil line. And then I'm going to staple them down so I can applique them. So I've got my diamond stapled on here and I've got the points lined up on my lines and I've eyeballed the spacing between the points of the square so I'm going to look at this here and these points line up pretty decently so you just kind of kind of look at this and see that it's these are a line that one's a little high but I'm not going to fix it so I'm going to leave this as it is and once I'm done with my applique, I'm going to erase my pencil lines. So I'm going to get to applique, and I'm going to start in the middle of one of the sides and work my way around, and then I'm going to tie off and work to my next pieces. So I've got three of my four diamonds appliqued down and removed my staples. And these aren't quite lined up like I'd like them to be. I'll see how this goes. This one didn't turn out so bad, and um, if it looks if it looks terribly off, what happened was when I did this, I wasn't really paying attention, and I allowed this to be pushed up with my thumb, and so it's off a little bit on the line um, than I had on there. Although the line is really hard to see at this point, but it did it did get shifted a little bit down from the line, so I'll have to decide if it's bad enough for me to redo it. Probably not. So let me finish this last diamond. So I finished attaching my dom my diamonds, and this one's still a little off, but I'm just going to leave it. It won't be that big of a deal in the long run. So I'm going to call this a completed I-11 square. 